that going? Well, I think it must have been eight years because the first Beyond TV we did in Swansea, immediately after that, I, I took it on tour to Australia. It was a hard job. <laughs> and um, Pitt was there. Indeed. Weren't you? Yes, so, yes, and so it's nice to be visiting Undercurrents after, with Undercurrents having been such a big influence on my early days of my filmmaking, so it's nice to be on your home territory now. Oh, thanks for coming. It's no worries. Nice Thank you. So this film that we're going to show now, can you tell us a bit of background to that? Yeah, um, I read an online report a couple of years ago about a community off the coast of um, Bougainville in Papua New Guinea, which was being supposedly damaged by rising sea levels, inundating their crops and washing the coasts away. So I went there and waited around for a week or two for the weather to be just good enough to do a very frightening 120k trip in an open boat out to the atoll and spent a couple of weeks there just um, recording you know, the experiences of the, of the people there and, and what's happening to them. So. I've been there three times now. This is just a bit of footage from the first trip. The mm -hmm. more recent footage I haven't been able to release because it belongs to Australian film funding bodies and a few people. But yeah, I own this one, so I was able to send someone to undercurrents. Okay, so we're fortunate to be able to share this. I Industrial countries can still help us. Countries like America, England, Australia even, and New Zealand. If these people can spend millions and millions on sending troops to fight other countries, why can't they spend maybe a couple of billions just to save people like ourselves, the marginalized, the poorest of the poor? Why? Because we are taking the brunt. We are the victims of this green gas emission that is being uh, the pollution made by industrial countries. So I, it's interesting because like the film before is based around surfing and climate change, but the effects that we're seeing in this country and cli of climate change are nothing like what they're seeing on that island, are they? No, well, all the islands in the Western Pacific are suffering a similar kind of problem at the moment. The Carterets hasn't been studied as some of the other places had, so it's not exactly known what the causes of the erosion are, but the fact that everywhere in the Western Pacific um, is suffering the same problems and the top X Poseidon satellite data certainly does show, you know, though there is a lot of seasonal variability with the sea levels from um, El Nino and La Nina phenomenon, that there is a consistent rise in sea levels over the last couple of decades and the Carterets being small and made of sand are particularly vulnerable and also a very large population there for the size of the island. So. Yeah, they're having a hard time and we'll start moving to Bougainville as soon as a suitable site can be found for them. And then the other four atolls that are also in um, uh, Papua New Guinea's territory will also start being evacuated. And also islands in Tuvalu, Vanuatu, Marshall Islands, um, basically everywhere else in the Western Pacific too, people are either moving to higher ground or if there's nowhere to go like the Carterets, they'll yeah, find somewhere else to live. Wow, so people are actually losing their homes uh, ass assumedly now, do you, do you, is it your opinion that it's climate change? You know, what's being called climate change? Um, As yeah, in, yeah. Caused by carbon emissions, caused yeah. by people, is that your opinion? Yeah, I did an interview with um, uh, the foremost experts in sea level rise in the Pacific are based in um, Australia, so I interviewed one of them recently, and he's quite sure that it would be part of the problem because or well, part of the problem in the Western Pacific is certainly sea level rise. There is data to, to show that that is happening. It's just exactly how much and exactly why the Carterets uh, seem to be suffering worse than other places can't be really firmly established. But yeah, sea level rise, and even if it's not, then the trend is certainly in that direction. So it's a taste of what we'll be getting in future years, especially on the coast of England, as you know, the coasts here are mm -hmm. subsiding as well as sea level rising. But yeah, a taste of what communities in the UK and other parts of the world can expect in coming decades. Right, okay. Again, Pip will be around in the break. I think we have to get a wriggle on because we're probably running out of time. But if you're interested in climate change and, and you know, an opinion from the other side of the planet, 